Step 5. Working with Stories In this step, we will have a look at the basics of ARCHICAD's story handling concept. Return to the floor plan by activating the floor plan icon in the Mini Navigator toolbar. Select the Design Story Settings menu item to go to the Story Settings dialog. Here we can review and edit the stories used in the actual project. You can set story number, names, elevation, and height to next story values here. And you can create and delete stories as well. Select Roof from the Story list. Click the Insert Above button to create a new story above the roof and enter Site Plan for name. Make sure that the newly created Site Plan is still selected and enter the value 12 in the Height to Next field. ARCHICAD will interpret the numerical value as 12 feet. When inputting numerical values, you have to type the feet value followed by a dash and the inches value. For example, to enter 3 feet 6 inches, you should type 3-6. However, when you need to input full feet values, you don't need to type the zero for the inch value. With this, you can save time when using numerical input. The first floor's elevation is at zero, although you could set it to any other value. The elevations of all other stories above and below are calculated from this reference elevation value. With the new Site Plan Story still selected, click OK to accept these changes and leave the dialog. Notice that the title area of the floor plan window displays 6.SitePlan in its name. Activate the View, Navigate, Stories menu command and activate the Go to Story command. Enter 1 into the input field in the Go to Story dialog and click OK to go to the first floor. Notice that the floor plan title bar displays 1.First Floor now. Open the project map of the navigator and notice that the new story viewpoint appeared under stories as well. We hope this short introduction helped you appreciate that the virtual building or BIM approach is an integrated 3D model where all data comes from and is generated from a building database that always shows the latest state of the project model no matter which viewpoint you're working on. We will now start to actually create the project so you will be able to see the potential speed and accuracy of the virtual building concept. This concludes Chapter 1. Please carry on with the rest of the chapters to see more ARCHICAD in action.